GitHub also gives you some nice visualizations. Uh, so if you go to network, it's going to take a minute to generate. Okay, cool. So these are essentially showing we all made different changes, right? And then where they merge back together is where we fixed our merge conflicts. So these were all of my changes thus far, and it'll like show me the notes I added with each one. Here's where we all made separate changes. And then this is basically you're looking at the order that we fixed them here in the graph, right? Then I pulled everyone, but then someone else pushed and I fixed it and then back in again. So when you're working with a large team, looking at something like this uh, can make it pretty easy to see exactly who was doing what, where, when, so on and so forth. Um, you can actually, so you can, the other nice thing about pushing code on GitHub is if you need to like send a TA or something in question and your code's on GitHub, you can read and link all these right here, right? So I could just send someone this link and say, instead of you know having to deal with the email screwed up my formatting, so on and so forth, uh, now I can just say, hey, look at this file. Can you tell me if you see any issues? You can actually edit directly on GitHub. Uh, if you do, it's just like making an automatic git commit. So you do your edit, then you have to give it your commit message, and it records that edit as its own commit. I mean, no one does a lot of editing on GitHub, but you know it is doable. They even offer like a full screen mode that makes your life easier if you're just have a web browser and you need to do some code editing. Uh, GitHub's pretty good actually. We not I can look at another project, but uh, GitHub also has syntax highlighting. I mean, all of these. This is not just GitHub. Pretty much any of these tools do. But if I look at one of my other projects that has So if I look at like a little C++ project I was screwing with recently, and if I look at uh, like a C++ file, it's going, oh, it's not here. Oh, yeah, it is. So GitHub will do syntax highlighting and stuff like that for you. I mean, if you want to, it's actually a nice little interface to look at things online. But the main thing it is is a central point for you to like sync get stuff with. Yeah? What does the bling button do? Um, so. We didn't get into it, but git blame is essentially a way for you to, if you know what commit caused an issue, git blame is like a way for you to indicate that. Like this commit caused some problem, so on and so forth. So you can actually, there is a git blame command here. So you could probably read more about it. Yeah. So if you do get help blame, it'll open up a command page, and you can read all about exactly what the get blame does. But there are other tools here we're not getting into. Uh, we're almost at the end of our time, so we probably won't be on it. I could, I could do an advanced get sometime, but 